right, y'all. Let's get into more cannabis speak. Go and listen to the other three parts if you haven't yet. Um, but cannabis, if you, if you're one of those who says that cannabis makes you lazy or forgetful or dumb or makes you not dream or um, uh, makes you incoherent or whatever, right? Whatever the lie is, okay? Because all those are lies. All those are propaganda tools. And they're there to push you. They're there to brainwash you, to scare you about God's creation, about the miracle plant that has over 20,000 uses, that has over 400 chemical compounds, and our body has a CB1 and CB2 receptors, right? So that's the one and two, the light and dark. And the plant itself is the hemp and marijuana brought to you by the God of this earth. Otherwise, it's just one plant, cannabis, right? And um, the cannabis plant is the tree of life, and it is also the tree of knowledge. But it is not the tree of life and the tree of knowledge that was in the Garden of Eden. It is the one that is in Genesis 1, okay? And that's why it has all the flavors and compounds and chemicals and uses and flavonoids and terps and all these things for us, all right? And then um, when Eden was destroyed, that tree of knowledge, that tree of life was destroyed with Eden and taken up into a spiritual sense, okay? <laughs> so your phone today, your TV today, your media today, that is an example of a spiritual tree of life, a spiritual tree of knowledge, okay? And the God of this earth, Satan, and the government, they take the words and the rivers of life and the streams of, of the uh, media and all this, and they form it to their own will, all right? So it's a tree of life with two sides on it, okay? Because you can get good information from these streams and the media and stuff, and you can also get bad information, okay? And with cannabis, it's the same exact thing, okay? It can put people in jail, can run your life by sending you to prison because the God of this earth doesn't want you using the tree of life, his, his tree of life, okay? Because his tree of life, they have over a hundred patents on cannabis to heal the body and all these things, okay? Because, because they're keeping these things from you because they're going to release this stuff um, in a way where <sighs> that's where all the synthetic cannabinoids come from and all these synthetic terps or whatever come from because the cannabis that we know of is going to be taken out in the future and the vapes the apes the 22 apes the vapes anyways those will tie into the green deal and all these things and that will be where you get your um thc from is from the vape store on your government checklist okay so if you're good and you do it, the Lord wants you to, right? Your God, the AI, then he will bless you and give you your vape sticks or whatever, okay? But cannabis, the way we know it, in the hanging gardens of Babylon, such as known as hydro systems, those are going to be taken out. And I see the Stone Age ending around 2025, okay? But the Stone Age... The green deals and all these things going are going to pass away and you're going to get your bait sticks from the government at that point, okay? Um, so, that's where all this is going basically, okay? Um, and that's also where you get that like storyline. Well, this might be a little side note, but there's like a storyline where aliens brought cannabis 
to Earth or whatever, and that ties into the aliens, a lie-in, right? The aliens is Jesus and the angels when they reappear because we've been brainwashed to think Jesus is an alien or the mothership is an alien, right? Anyways, it all makes sense because um, if Jesus is the alien, right, and he brought us the tree of life for the male and female that he made after he them, the first man created in Genesis 1, he's the one who created the male and female, he's the one um, <coughs> who had dominion over the earth and was controlling that tree and stuff, and that's where you see like uh, the kings of Tyrus, um, and the money changers or whatever, controlling things or whatever, and the cities, basically because, because Satan's seeds goes and builds the cities, right, and what's the cities have, they have limited stuff, right, and it's all a fight for, for survival, basically there, um, anyways, folks, that's your Genesis 4 people, or the, the, yeah, the Genesis 4 people, like, uh, Tubal, um, and such, and then the people, Genesis 5, the sons of man, they started to call on the Lord, right? Anyways, um, so the cannabis, the God of this earth doesn't want you having it, right? Because the cannabis contains information, and it contains information um, about its surroundings that it was grown in. It contains information from the grower that crafted it. Um, it contains information from the, the earth that it was in. It contains information from the soil that it was in and all this other stuff, right? And that's why they want to, to make the cannabis laws the way they do to where the big business comes in because the big business will run it a certain way, generally by bottle feeding and fertilizers and chemicals and stuff, which makes poison cannabis. It's just like tobacco. Tobacco used to be a health product organic slow dry tobacco is good for you okay the people that have lived the longest on the earth have been pretty much chain smokers of this type of tobacco anyways the two backco um, uh, it um, if grown right and all these things it doesn't cause the cancer that we see today okay the thing that causes the cancer with the tobacco and cigarettes today is the thousands of chemicals are spraying on it. They put formaldehyde on it, right? We can't go and put formaldehyde on it legally. How come they get to put formaldehyde on it legally? Okay? Um, so you're getting all these cancers and things wrong with you from smoking tobacco and cigarettes because you're smoking the wrong tobacco. You need to order organic, slow-dried tobacco, and you need to roll the cigarette yourself or you need to smoke it out of a pipe or whatever, okay? That's the proper, healthy way to smoke tobacco, okay? Uh, 